Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I want to show you three new Funko Pops from The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. I got these guys at GameStop. That's right, they are available at your local GameStop right now. However, if you prefer another place to buy them, you can get them on Amazon and pre-order them, but they will not ship until the end of August. So if you don't mind going to GameStop and paying a little bit extra money, you can get these right now. So what I have from left to right is the Daedric Warrior. Alduin, the Dragon, and the GameStop exclusive White Run Guard. So the White Run Guard with the arrow to the knee is a GameStop ex exclusive. The only place you can get him is GameStop. And Alduin here is a six inch pop, so that is super awesome. There's one more Funko Pop in this line that I do not have, but I will get later, and that is, of course, Dova King, the old Dragonborn Nord from Skyrim. So, I'm going to take a look at all three of these figures in the same video. So, let's get things started with the GameStop exclusive White Run Soldier. So, the first thing I have to point out is the arrow to the knee. That became such a thing when Elder Scrolls V Skyrim came out. It was the butt of all the jokes. The White Run guard that took an arrow to the knee. And it just sort of became one of those things that you know people would just use whenever they wanted to make a corny joke. You know, could have done this, but I took an arrow to the knee. So I'm glad that they did that for this white run guard. Other than that, you know, he looks pretty standard. Pretty cool helmet with the uh, with the armor going down there. A nice pattern, nice design. Not the cleanest paint in the world. We see that there, you know, are some splotches of paint here and there on the silver part of the armor. But this white run guard, you know, in the game he's pretty generic. And um, even in Funko Pop form, you know, I also think he's somewhat generic. However, it's that arrow. It's the arrow to the knee, and it's a little bit of red underneath the arrow for the blood, of course, uh, since he was shot in the knee with that arrow. And, yeah, that's why we would want to get this uh, nice chain mail there on his arms. And, hey, you know, besides that... No, well, it's a pretty decent Funko Pop. Not the best in the world, definitely not the weakest. He's really just there for novelty's sake, similar to the joke that brought about this guy in the first place. Now, this guy is awesome. The Daedric Warrior. In the game, Daedric Warriors, Daedric Princes, and, you know, Daedric Anything are the bad guys. And they did a really good job of bringing that across here. I love the black and the silver and little splotches of red. It looks very, very menacing. And it sort of doesn't even look like the standard mold for Funko Pops. You know, they all have the same basic build. They all have the same basic face shape and body shape. It's just all the molding that goes over them that makes them unique. And, you know, it's kind of hard to tell when you look at this guy. They did a really good job. The paint is very good, probably because it's mostly black. But even the blacks, to me, seem like there's some subtle differences in the tones of the black. And that really adds a bit of contrast and makes it stand out more. This guy is not metallic, but I can just imagine if he were, oh my goodness, it would just be awesome. So yeah, I really do love that red there on his, on his hands that extends over to his back. Really, really subtle things, but it looks so good and clean too. Yeah, this Daedric Warrior is really, really something. This is definitely uh, a favorite of mine out of all of my Funko Pops because he just looks great. And last but certainly not least, Alduin the Dragon. And let me tell you, this guy is big. He is heavy. He definitely has some weight to it. He'll definitely stand out on your shelf as a Funko Pop. So this is just great. Look at the detail of the scales. That is a really impressive mode. We got those spikes just sort of jutting out right there in different directions. Some are going vertical, some are going horizontal. And man, it just really, really looks good. All those little indentations and holes and, you know, just wrinkles and the wings and everything. Man, this is, this is good. This is really, really good. Um, the red eyes are very clean. You know, they're almost pearlescent, you know, it's almost not quite like a typical paint. And it would have been perfect except for this eye here. It's got a little funkiness going on. The left eye is pretty much perfect. It has a, it is red, but it also has like a, a black tone that's just sort of washing over it in the back. And that's really good. Brings out some good detail that way. 
So yeah, Alduin is pretty freaking amazing as you probably as you probably already know. And at least at the time of this video, if you wanted to pre-order him on Amazon, you can just for 10 bucks. You know, and these six inch figures usually retail for about 14, 15, 16 bucks, depending on where you get them from. So yeah, this is Alduin. He looks absolutely fantastic, looks great. And even though there's a very basic color and there's really just no difference except for the eyes, that's really how he is in the game. So that's a good representation of him. So great job. So there you go. There's my look at three of the four Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Funko Pop figures. I'll do in the White Run Guard with the arrow in the knee, the GameStop exclusive, and the Daedric Warrior. So this is great. I love these video game themed Funko Pops, especially from the games that I like. And I am most looking forward at this point to the Bioshock Pops because they are going to have a six inch Big Daddy. That's going to be amazing. Can't wait to see how the little sister turns out. And that will be my next need to have collection of Funko Pops. Um, you know, the Ar Batman Arkham City ones look cool too, you know, with the Scarecrow and everything, but I have got to get that six inch Big Daddy. That is gonna be a hot commodity, believe you me. Um, and as far as some of the other video game franchises, like the Fallout ones that just came out, there's no six inches, there's no six inchers in that, uh, in that line. I wish they had done it for the Deathclaw or the Super Mutant, but they did not. They're all just a standard, three and a quarter size figures for Funko Pops. But anyway, if you're looking for the Skyrim ones, check out your local GameStop. And they also have some Funko Pops now available from the Elder Scrolls Online if you're into that game. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'm Jeremy, and I will talk to you later.